For those who were wondering if Indomitian Sue would ever return to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, that is not going to be a thing. Indomitian Sue has signed a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. The rich get richer as they've not only signed Indomitian Sue, they have also signed Linval Joseph, a defensive tackle that I'm a very, very big fan of, former Minnesota Viking for a good long while. The Eagles continue to be relentless in terms of all of the people People that they have added to their roster throughout this year. They also added Robert Quinn via trade earlier in the season as well. They needed some more bulk and some more depth along their defensive line, and they added two really, really good defensive tackles in Linval Joseph, and more importantly for Bucks fans, in Dom Kinsu. And this, of course, means that Ndamukong Sue is not going to be returning to the Buccaneers at any point because he's no longer an option. He is contractually obligated to play for another team now. And this may be upsetting to some people. Maybe it won't be, depending on what your thoughts and opinions are are of the current defensive front seven and maybe how guys like Akeem Hicks and Logan Hall have been doing. In my opinion, I think Akeem Hicks has been a very great addition to this Buccaneers defense whenever he is healthy. And that is a big if, that is a big question mark, but whenever Hicks is out there, he's been fantastic. And I really think that he has done a phenomenal job in helping out guys not just the inside and outside linebackers, but especially a guy like Vita Vea, who I talked about in a previous video, is putting up the best stats of his career so far. And I think a really big helping hand to that is a guy like Akeem Hicks. I'm not saying that Ndamukong Sue couldn't have helped similar production out of a guy like Vita Vea, but, you know, we are seeing that proof right now with Akeem Hicks that when Hicks is out there... Vita Vey is eaten, and the defense is playing a lot better. So, I think the Buccaneers are still in a very, very, very good position with Hicks, and I think that they don't regret that signing at all in terms of signing Hicks over Sue and letting Sue go to, eventually now, the Philadelphia Eagles. But... I will say the Eagles are getting themselves one heck of a defensive lineman. Everybody knows what Sue can do, both in media circles and in fan circles as well. And Namkin Sue still has a lot left in the tank in terms of overall play. Granted, he hasn't played for a little over half a season now, nor did he have an offseason to really get any work done as well. So maybe he will be a little bit rusty, but he's joining a Philadelphia Eagles team that is 8-1 and one and already has guys like Fletcher Cox and... Um, you know, Brandon Graham and all these other really good guys. Javon Hargrave, I believe, is in there as well, though he may be hurt, I believe. I don't know. Point being is that the Eagles already had some studs along that defensive line, and they just added another stud in Indomitian Sue. So that phrase of, well, the rich get richer, yeah, that that is very cliche, but it's also very accurate in the case of the Eagles right now. And I think they got themselves a very strong piece. Potentially somebody that the Buccaneers will see in the playoffs is the Eagles. Again, depending on what happens, I... Still think the Buccaneers have a very, very solid chance to make the playoffs and win the division. The Eagles might end up being the first team. Who knows? The, uh, you know, first seed and possibly having a bye week. Who knows? But the Eagles have looked really good. They got another talented guy here. And this also means that Ndamukong Sue is no longer an option for the Bucs. But I think the Bucs are okay with Akeem Hicks in their situation now. But let me know what you guys think about this. The Buccaneers losing Ndamukong Sue to the Philadelphia Eagles and him no longer being an option for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now, and go Bucks.